everyone in this video we will see how to read csv files using java 8 so for that let's create one csv file so csv file is basically comma separated data so we can pass here comma separated data like chandan then i can say last name is kumar and then i will put address delhi then i'll say age and so on you can put here any particular detail you want to do. and then we will have same details in the next line so i'll say one one something like this i just i'm appending it here so for example let's say this way we have data i'll just uh, i have to save as let's say my files dot csv let's put it in double quote so that it will take correct format and i'm saving it to the desktop now my file is saved i'll just say it csv file so if you just want to see we have created this my file dot csv and this way we have our data available now if i want to read this data in our java code what we need to do here is we'll use files dot lines and here i have to pass paths dot kit and then i'll say my path where our csv file is available after that what we need to do is we can simply say dot map i will use map function map and inside map i'll just pass here lines line and then i'll say line dot uh, line dot split we need to split this with comma and once we have split it what we need to do is dot collect and we can use collector dot collectors dot to list so basically we have stored we have done this thing and then we need to first uh, we can add it in try catch block or we can simply throw it and then we will see what data it will returns it's returning list of a string object and uh, so oh, let me just save it here it should be list of a string data change data type to a string all right yes so we have our data available in list list of a string array so our data is available in this one and then what we can do we can simply print it so i'll simply write data dot and then i'll do for each and here i can get data d and then we have basically a string object so in this a string object so basically we will get so once we will loop it that means i get here first line if i will loop from here i'll get first line and then from first line i just need to print it so to print data i just need to write again um, another for loop to get data so maybe let's say i'll use this for loop a string s and then i will pass d so that i can iterate through this string array and if i will pass here sys out instead of print ln i'll just print and then just do plus a space and after one for loop i'll just add one print ln statement let's run it and see you can see i am able to read data correctly from the csv file now here what you can do once you get data from here instead of printing this way you can create one pojo class and then inside that pojo class you can store these all values and uh, using that values you will be able to do your work just read this file and store each column value to a field which is available uh, which should be available in pojo class using that you can read this from the csv file thank you so much for watching the video